Today I'm showing the two remaining issues in your production as far as I'm concerned. This flex in the table is really um, annoying given I'm using controller-based motion compensation. You can see the table moving. So I'm going to try and resolve it. Three weeks later. It took me a while, but I put this piece of L bracket under because the bolts that hold the leg rest in place are about 10 centimeters further back than where I'm doing this. And I could see the flex happening there. So I've bolted this piece of L bracketed aluminum across to stop that movement. It does seem to reduce it a little bit, um, but it's not totally gone. So with pedals, uh, we get more flex because you're pushing a lot harder. Um, so I, testing with the brake primarily and the biggest issue about this is every time that table moves, if you're using a controller for compensation, the view wobbles and it creates motion sickness. Another potential issue that should be fairly easy to fix in that um, I was having a look in the trap door today and it fell and ripped these wires off of the LED strip in here, which is going to be quite difficult to fix. Um, I noticed you've got these holes and I think if you put a zip tie here and just some string or something around, you'll be able to make it so that it can only fall far enough so that it can't fall further than what would enough to pull the wires off. Um, just, yeah, just an idea. I'll just quickly show you what I mean in fully in place a few moments later this is basically what i mean so i've just got a zip tie through the hole and then a piece of ribbon because i didn't have any string but that would stop it so if the wires were still connected it wouldn't fall down far enough and wouldn't have the weight of the metal to just rip the wires off the led strip i'll try and take this silver bit off and see whether i can resolder it but i think it might be quite difficult just because it's inside there so far, and I think I think the perspex is stuck there as well. So I'll let you know. A few moments later. Unfortunately, when it ripped off, it looks like it's ripped the traces off of here. Um, I'll try and cut here. I was able to fix it by cutting one LED out. If I open, just just to show what I've got now. So I've got that string, which means the LEDs can't get ripped off again. So I think that might be worth adding. It's, it's a low risk, but if anyone opens it like I did, and mind you, I was holding it carefully multiple times, but then one time it just fell and the wires came off. 